Hey everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Chantel, this is My Basic Journey. If you're new here, welcome. Please subscribe. If you're not new here, hey, <laughs> long time no see. Um, this van project that I've been working on has been going very slow and uh, I'm very sorry about that, but we have our van back now and I just wanna say a quick thank you to Dave who finished my solar install and my fan install. Um, so I'm sorry that I don't have footage of that, but I will show it to you guys when we go out there. But we're on to the next project now and we're gonna be doing the flooring this week. I'm excited because I already know what I'm doing because I'm gonna do it almost the exact same way that I did in the minivan. Um, it's just a very easy, cost-effective, looks nice, so we're just gonna stick with the vinyl flooring sheet. Um, I did upgrade it. It was like 20 or $30 more than the one that I got for my minivan, but we just went to Home Depot. I also did not record that, but I'll show you what I got when I go out there. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm sorry that it's been quite a while. Um, let me tell you guys, this van build project, like van builds, are not for the faint of heart, let me tell you. It has been pretty stressful and time consuming and it just takes up way more time and way more money than I could have ever imagined. So, you know, I had saved up quite a bit and I was like, oh, I'm so ready for this and the truth is I was so not ready for this, but it is slowly rolling along and we're gonna get the flooring done this week. So let me go show you guys the updates and then we can start working on the floor. I can tell you where I'm at, so let's go. Oh, hey van, you guys see up there, we got my fan. We got three out of the four solar panels to fit nicely up there, which I'm happy with. That's okay if all four didn't fit. Let me show you what's going on inside. Got all this carpet pulled out because we had to remove some bolts back there. But look at how empty it is. With all that carpet out of there. And I just need to finish cutting it right here because it's really really attached to the floor on this side because of the wood so i got my handy dandy box cutter we're gonna get the rest of this carpet out and then if you guys remember for my rust project i used great stuff to fill in like the rust holes and so we're just gonna fill in those holes that go to the ground with some great stuff yeah and then we'll be able to put the flooring in all right, let's get this nasty carpet out of here. Also, this is the flooring that I'm gonna be using. It's just a vinyl sheet I got from Home Depot and it was $88 for a 12 by six roll. And then this is uh, gonna go in between the carpet and this. So here's what I'm going to need for the next part of my flooring adventure. So I'm going to fill in these holes. You can see that these go straight to the ground now that we took the bolts out. So uh, we're going to be filling those up. I actually decided that, so I cleaned it off with this first, you know, just gave it a good old nice little scrubby. And then I'm going to take this roof repair tape got it from Amazon. Um, I was originally going to use that for my fan and uh, the solar panel situation, but 
we decided it'd just be better and safer just to screw them in. So now I have this and I have a couple things I want to do with it. The first thing is going to be for this flooring project. I'm just going to cover the holes with this roof repair tape and then we'll foam over it. So this is actually the same thing as um, Great Stuff, just the um, Rural King off-brand version. So that'll be perfect. what it looks like afterwards and after it's done drying it takes a while I will sand it down and make it as flat as possible there was only enough in one can to do this one side I tried doing this side um, unsuccessfully <laughs> but I had this one by two that I put in there and I think that'll actually be okay because a piece of plywood is going over this a two by four piece of plywood so it'll go out to about here um, and it'll cover that. And that is what I'm going to build my batteries on. So I'm just going to put the flooring over that and, uh, it'll be all right. Okay. So I'm going to let this dry. I'm going to send this off to the mechanic to get some work done. And then I'll catch back up with you guys. Note to self, this does very small, small jobs. <laughs> All right, you guys, we have the van back and hopefully everything's in tip top shape now. They did find that I needed to get my serpentine belt replaced, so we did that. And uh, yeah, so now I'm gonna put my flooring in. We're gonna do this nice and easy, probably the most simple way to put flooring into a van ever. And it's not professionally done. <laughs> um, I'm gonna tell you that right now. This is not what a professional would probably do, so I don't wanna hear it in the comments, but if you're looking for a super easy, like pretty affordable way to put flooring in, this is how you're gonna wanna do it. So besides that piece of plywood down there, this is everything that I'm gonna need to put flooring in. You guys already saw that I put great stuff in to fill in the holes. I'm gonna go through and we're gonna sweep everything first, just make it nice and clean. I'm gonna go through and try to level out any of the foam that I put in and then go through and sand it down just to make sure it's as level as I can get it. And then we're gonna go through and actually lay this flooring down. And so I'm gonna use this spray adhesive. I'm gonna put gloves on so my hands don't get sticky. And then as we're going through, I'll just squeegee it a little bit <laughs> just to try to make it nice and flat with no bubbles. And then when we're done, we'll go through, I have a box cutter and we'll go through and cut the edges. And then we're gonna glue this thing down. And I also have carpet, carpet tacks to put in when we're done.
it is looking so nice. We're almost done here. Just have to do that front little section. I'm gonna leave this side because I don't have a plastic fitting for the doorway because there was a wheelchair lift there, but we have one for there and one for back here. So we'll have like a nice clean edge. So we just have to cut that one. Also, I did get one of these to put in between the carpet and the vinyl. However, it is too long and I need to have it cut before I can put it in. But that will go in eventually. So let's go ahead and put those black plastic things back on here. And they just connect with these like little hooks. They like slip into there. Well, you guys, I'm excited to say that the flooring is officially done. And as you saw, it was very easy to do. It was one of the easiest projects that I've had to do and something I could do by myself without any help. So very proud. It turned out really good. Hopefully it helps some of you who are maybe not as, you know, skilled and like flooring to be able to do this by yourself because honestly it was super easy all you need is some vinyl and a box cutter and you're good to go and if you want to you can use duct tape like I did in my minivan for the sides and the edges you know but you can do it however you want I'm just happy that it's done because now we can move on to the other projects that I need to get done and then we can get out of here <sighs> I know this video was short and to the point, but I hope you liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're new here, please subscribe below. I'll also put a link to my Patreon in the description box in case you're interested in checking that out and helping support my channel. Otherwise, I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!